What's up YouTube? This is Gameface 49er and uh, I'm here to do a video for you guys so uh, I know I told uh, everybody that I would do an update on my tank uh, my 60 gallon African cichlid tank and uh, so there's quite a bit to, to talk about uh, I'm going to try to make this video as short as I can don't want to drag it out or you know, bore anybody but uh, I took the castle out I don't know if you guys saw the last video I made, but um, a pretty large castle in there that took up a lot of space. So I uh, ended up putting it on uh, eBay, and I sold that, and I uh, was able to buy a couple of other things in there, or I mean on eBay, uh, like you see some of those rocks that are in there, <clears throat> and um, a couple other things that are still to come. But um, one of the biggest things that I did to this tank, besides removing the... Uh, the castle was I got an external um, three layer uh, filter and I'm going to show it to you guys right here it's uh, made by Sun Sun and it fits nicely under there and uh, man it's been keeping my tank real clean if I move stuff around and my tank gets a little a little foggy or whatever um, within about 30 minutes it clears up and uh, I mean I have no complaints so I recommend it I got mine on eBay for uh, $52 which isn't bad um, it's rated for up to a 100 gallon tank which is good mine's only 60 so besides the external uh, filter that I got I got a bubble wand that I put in the back and as you can see there's a lot more bubbles which is good and moves the water around a little bit more um, and the fry right here are getting pretty big now and I'm gonna have to relocate them pretty soon I'm gonna try to hold out um, and wait till they get big enough to release into this tank but uh, you know, I'm not sure if I want to do that or if I want to just get like a five or ten gallon tank and put them in there for now. But um, since the last video, also, I uh, I went ahead and stripped a, another another female of its fry, and uh, I did this a couple days ago, and I was looking for an egg tumbler on eBay. And they were just they were just too expensive. They were like thirty dollars, you know, for an egg tumbler. And so I just kind of looked up on uh, on YouTube how to make them. And it turns out I had enough things in my uh, <clears throat> in a box of fish stuff, fish supplies and stuff, aquarium supplies uh, to make my own. So as you can see, it's working pretty badass. Let me see if I can get in here. Um, it's an it's an egg tumbler, but as you can see, the eggs, you know, the the fry, um, they don't really have any of the egg left or the pot belly, whatever you want to call it. They're pretty much ready to be released into a, a little a breeder net like this one. So I'm gonna do that in the next couple of days. <clears throat> but there is one more fish in here that has eggs that she's carrying and so when I move these guys into a net like this I will put the eggs in here and let them get tumbled around like they're supposed to um, so real quick th this little egg tumbler I made I made it out of the uh, um, gravel vacuum that I had and it actually worked pretty good um, as you can see down here there's a filter and part of a just like a kitchen sponge that I used just to make sure that they weren't going to be able to swim down or, or get stuck anywhere and uh, so the bubbles that come up from this wand they go up underneath the opening and they actually go through the filter which is good and I got my uh, my air stone up there <clears throat> so they're getting a lot of movement, the water's circulating through so there's no stale water in there 
and they're all doing really really good except for one one little fish that it looks like uh, he lost his tail so I'm not sure if he'll make it we'll, we'll just have to wait and see I'm gonna move uh, this light a little bit Watch out, buddy. move this light a little bit so uh, maybe it'll help him. so we'll be able to see it a little better so that's about it. I mean, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, I'm not an expert at keeping or uh, breeding cichlids, but I'm kind of learning along the way. And uh, I guess that's the best way to do it, you know. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments or suggestions, actually, you know, um, uh, I'd be willing to, to hear them out. You know, if you want to leave them down in the comment section, uh, press like on the video if you could, maybe subscribe because I will be making more videos of the tank and uh, uh, maybe some gaming videos too, some Modern Warfare 3 videos I still haven't done yet. <clears throat> Anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, so these, these fry right here, just want to add that they're a little over a month old. Uh, let me move this light. It's a little too bright now. So they're a little over a month, month old. And these, I just stripped the um, the female fish, their mother, just a couple days ago. So they're fairly new. Um, yeah, like I said, hope you guys liked the video. Um, leave any comments or suggestions or anything like that at the bottom. And uh, I'll respond to all the comments that are posted. All right, guys, take it easy.